it's time to test Chinese drinking water. What you see here are the top seven most popular brands of bottled water in China. I'll also be testing municipal tap water and water straight from a water cooler which is used in most offices and homes throughout China. These nine different waters are going to be tested for pH and some other variables. Now, I'm interested mostly in pH, but how am I going to test it? Well, I'm going to use these strips. And these strips here uh, can be used to test any kind of liquid. And you can get them from any medical supply warehouse. You can get them from chemical companies. Your water company may have them. You can order them on the internet. So basically this paper here um, tests the quality of the water by changing color codes based on the elements that are found in it. So I'm going to be looking for the pH value, but there are some other key uh, problems with water that can be detected with this test, including nitrates and specific gravity and some other uh, elements in the water. Now, this may not be the be-all and end-all of tests for drinking water, but I'm going to be able to find out for certain if the bottled water that I've been drinking in China all these years is the best water or do all the waters test the same or do none of them hold up I'm not really sure but I'm going to be testing these these waters are all taken from different stores at different times they've all been bottled within the past three months and they are all from China now some of these waters are basically from Chinese companies only and others are co-ops meaning that foreign companies have invested either intellectual property or have a interest in the profit base of these waters. The first water is a popular water that is available throughout China. It is a little bit higher priced than most of the bottled waters. It's a water that uh, I drank heavily the first couple years that I came to China. It uh, is next to Nanfu Springs which is a very popular brand in China it is bottled at the source. Nanfu Spring is actually a source and they guarantee that this spring water is from the source and pure spring water. Now, if you remember, Nanfu Springs a couple years back had some scandalous news as their water did not test out the way that it claimed through advertising. Another water that I drank heavily when I first came to China. The third water is Master Kong. This water is from a huge company in China it is 100% Chinese owned and this water company here also does snack foods and other types of uh, Chinese noodles and things like that. So big company. The water is actually the cheapest of all the brands and the most readily available throughout Chinese supermarkets because it's not a co-op. It's a Chinese owned company 100% lock, stock and barrel. So I wonder how this water will test out. The next water here is one of the premium spring waters throughout China and this is natural mineral water they guarantee from the source. It's usually about 20% or so higher price than other waters. Um, a good tasting water for sure. Watson's Water. This company here is one of the major players in the Chinese uh, market for cosmetics and other convenience things through their Watson stores. So they have their own bottled water and it's very popular and it is a uh, mid-price range. And then of course we have a co-op here and this water here basically comes from a co-op company Danon and uh, they uh, have a big presence in China. They also are involved in other types of snack foods and other types of drinks. 5100, probably the most famous water as far as premium water goes throughout China. It is Tibetan spring water, 100%. It is bottled at the source and shipped throughout China. It is very expensive, but the taste is a very clean finish on it, and they guarantee the purity. We'll see how it tests out. In addition to these, I'll also be adding municipal tap water in this cup and water from a water cooler in this cup that's filtered and we'll basically be breaking the seals and I'll show you 
the test results once I break the seals for you and show you that in fact it is 100% legit. So let's uh, open these up, let's put the papers in and let's see how they grade out. Just so you know it's legit, I've let this water from the tap run a little bit and I'm going to get it right out of the municipal water supply in a major Chinese city. Water cooler water, straight from the water cooler bubbler. And this can be get, had in many Chinese uh, offices and houses around the country. And it is very cheap per ounce to get this delivered. Okay, the test strips are out. Everything is marked and ready to go. I've got everything labeled. And this unscientific scientific study is about to really begin. I'm going to break the seal on all of these waters and then test them so that you know that it's legit or as close to being legit as possible and that uh, we can get a proper reading on these waters. Okay, why is it important? Well, if you're going to be traveling or living in China, you want to make sure that you're drinking the best possible water that you can, especially if you're living here for several years um, as it will take a toll on your health. So I'm going to put this in here longer than what most people do to get a better reading. I'm going to expose that to air and I'm going to let it sit right next to the nameplate and I'm going to let that uh, change color. I'm going to do the same with all the rest of these waters. Danon Fifty one hundred Tibetan spring water. Notice how they're the only company that fills it to the very top. And for what you're paying for this water, it should be. A water cooler delivery H two O. Chinese municipal tap water. This should be a good one. The results, well, I could say that they're probably almost inconclusive because most of these waters grade out the same with this type of test. Now, there is a difference though. Uh, if you look at Master Kong's pH reading and Ganton's pH reading, which happens to be uh, one of the lower price waters and one of the higher price waters in China, you'll see that Master Kong is a little bit low on the pH scale, whereas Ganton natural spring water, mineral water, is uh, a little bit higher than I thought. Now normally you want to try to get a pH value of right around 7.0 and the premium water Ganton is a little bit high, Master Kong's a little bit low, which you would expect, but the rest of them are almost similar in pH value. Now pH value is not the be all and end all of water testing, obviously. You have to test for other things as uh, sediments, chemicals, uh, minerals, metals in your water, um, all kinds of things that can be in there. And fluoride is just one of them. So if you think that you're going to be able to boil your water in China and be okay, then you're not being realistic because boiling your water in China simply destroys the bacteria. It doesn't make your water safe. So don't boil your water from the tap and think that you're going to get away with it health-wise, especially after being in China for a couple of years. Buy a water that is good, that is clean, that you can trust, and that the results of these are pretty good overall, pretty good. Of course, uh, there is more tests that need to be done. Now, about water in general, what do we need to know? Well, there's a lot in the news about water today. And it has to do, of course, with California and their water problems. Uh, water rights have always been a big issue uh, around the world and a big issue of mine because water, air, and things of that nature should be absolutely free to every individual regardless. And the fact that these big corporations are profiting off water is disgusting and it's going to get a lot worse, unfortunately. Now, they're telling us that water is in short supply and that water is a scarce resource. It is not true, and I'll tell you why. You remember what happened in Libya when uh, they went in, uh, the, the uh, UN troops went in on a humanitarian effort and they uh, helped to destroy that country? One of the first things they blew up was a oasis, an aquifer in the middle of the desert that was going to help Libya and the rest of the African countries 
become almost self-sufficient when it comes to their water needs. How are they able to get that much water in the middle of the desert? Well, it's called primary water. Primary water, look it up. There is primary water throughout the earth. It comes from the ground. It is replenishable. It restores itself. Over time, water is renewable. It is not a scarce resource as the uh, powers that be would like you to believe. So don't be fooled. Uh, you don't have to pay for water. So to wrap this up, it's a battle of waters and the acidity or the alkaline value of water is important and we have a winner. Ganton, natural mineral water is the clear winner. It is alkaline water. It rated slightly higher than the rest of the waters in this test and it is the water that I've been drinking uh, for the past uh, year or so, so I'm happy about that. In fact, uh, it's even higher rated than 5100, the Tibetan spring water. And in fact, the Tibetan spring water, which is three times the price as these, actually scored lower than Nangfu Springs or um, the other waters that uh, are in the mid-range for price. So uh, alkaline water is a good thing. This is a little expensive, but it's worth it. And uh, we see that uh, the cooler, water cooler water, actually tested lower than the tap water. Go figure. And uh, I would like to actually get further studies on these um, to see exactly what's in that tap water. But that's for another time. So we have a winner. That's some high quality H2O.